Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, it, it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it. If that makes sense. So this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. We'll get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And people somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in... in in their their businesses oh, i want to be more successful and i get that but success is a weird thing in that it doesn't necessarily define you what it probably brings you is this financial stability and maybe allows you to do what you want to do and that's all good and we're going to look at this but energetically speaking it is much more important that you as a spiritual being trapped in a body <laughs> so to speak um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved so let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on a on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to being to, to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they ask me to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's 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 really well, yeah, what it is for twenty twenty one with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by months by months. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009 I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe. And you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you can sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own month by month breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Capricorns. Let's look into your 2021 months by months. Now we're starting with January 2021. Let's see what we got for Capricorn. The year for Capricorns starts off more than just promising because what the guides are saying, the time is now. Everything and anything you ever wanted, now is the time to claim it. Don't procrastinate. Really, really important, claim it. And then the other thing that you have is, is it's just a term, Distant thunder, which means while you're at it, while you're claiming stuff, also clear the air where, where, with whoever you are close to. Make sure they all know what's what. Don't have to be aggressive that way. <coughs> but they ask you, now is the time to claim. Now is the time to go for things. Now is the time to rethink your plans and manifest the new. And while you're at it, put people in their place. Short and sweet. For, uh, <laughs> for Capricorns, that was due January, going into February 2021. Okay, February 2021 for Capricorns. What they're saying is, remember the year started off more than promising you go for stuff, and in February they're asking you not to slow down. Take actions. It, the way I feel this is we're only in February now. Um, the energy for Capricorns is not frantic, but it's quick. And it's like there's a new determination. And you kind of go like, yeah, I'm going for stuff. What they're asking you is to also flick away the cobwebs of your life. So this is a year where you are asked to do um, a little bit of, of kick-ass action. Do stuff and in February they're asking you to take action, to keep taking actions. Uh, action is really important, just go for stuff because they are for you. Um, and then what the guys ask you in February is to trust that the things you are chasing will actually work. So don't go, this is the, the term that they give me a lot for February as well, don't go into procrastinating. Do not procrastinate. Go for things and trust that things will work. Right? So, so far, that was your February, so far we're having a bit of a frantic um, uh, 2021 and sometimes, you know, you lose a bit of overview when you're too <laughs> obsessed with things. So pay attention to your energy at all times. Let's go into March 2021. Let's see what we got for Capricorns. Okay, well that makes sense because you're really doing it. In, in March, they're saying to you, simplify your life, travel light. And you're really doing this by putting people in a place and telling them what's what 
and, and looking for new things, um, you're already opening yourself up for a much more exciting life, much more rewarding life. And in March, they're saying, is, they're saying to you, don't slow down. Do not slow down in March and simplify your life. Let situations and people go that aren't for you. Okay? Here we go. That was your, your March. We're looking at the star sign of Capricorn. This is your 2021 full rundown, so to speak. And that was March. Going into April. In April, you come to a abrupt um, uh, impasse, if that makes sense. All of a sudden you feel like, whoa. <laughs> and so what they're saying to you, April is a good time to, to reflect and maybe redirect your energy a little. Um, because, um, and remember, we just talked about this, when things are too frantic, you lose a bit of, of, of sight. And that's what happens in April. They're saying to you, like, well, now is the time to slow down a little. <laughs> right, and because you're now reflecting and you're looking at at things in a calmer way, they're also asking you to to open up your well, open up to your spiritual source. Remember, that's 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 who you are. You 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 deep. You are um you spiritual, and all the guides are saying is why don't you look at that part of yourself as well in April while you're reflecting and redirecting your energy. So the way I feel this is that April is supposed to be, and I say it's supposed to be because um, Capricorns, you can be all over the place and they're asking you not to be. Um, so it's important that April is supposed to be um, a quieter month with a lot more um, uh, reflection and a reflective time, okay? That was April. Going into May 2021, let's see what we got. Oh, that's good. As you do all the things the guides ask you, you know, as, as you're using 2021 to bring about change that only you can bring about. Okay? Because that's one of those cases where um, the energy is like, you know, you, you, you have been trapped sometimes by even being polite. And this year you're not, you're not putting up with it. So of course there will be some friction. But in May, you, um, you really will feel rewarded for doing all the hard work in the first couple of months of 2021. There is a sort of, you know, show me a treasure chest. So there is treasure um, beneath the surface. So you're getting somewhere. And, um, and remember, after the reflective months of April, in May, you, you, are, you, you are reflecting um, helps you realize that you already have made a lot of progress. So there is, there is a treasure, so to speak, that you uncover um, in May. Now we're looking at June 2021. Looking at the star sign of Capricorn. And in June, see, this is how this works for, for this year, for Capricorns. Because you literally, sounds wrong, woke up in January and said, like, okay, and I'm changing, blah, and I'm talking like, like this, you know, blah, kind of thing. <coughs> it, feel, it, feels, it, feel, blah, it feels like you had, you had quite some battles to fight on a, on, on a different level, at least, uh, in, in, in 2021 so far. And in June, they're saying to you, take risks and explore your full potential because there's so much potential in you. And rather than being, <laughs> wrong word maybe, rather than being angry at certain people that you had to let go, let them go fully. Don't bother yourself with thinking about, thinking about uh, the past. You don't live there anymore. Really, really important. In June, they're asking you take risks, go for stuff, even if you haven't done it before, because that's what I'm seeing as well is to um, not follow your own rules by, by trying to feel safe, right? New opportunities will come, grab them. And um, this is how you explore your full potential, right? That was June, going into July 2021. And we're looking at the sign of Capricorn. Let's just see what you got. Yeah. <laughs> July, you will feel 
a lot more fulfillment, a lot, a lot uh, better. Can you hear this? It's bloody windy. Can you stay away from the fog? <laughs> so, so I'm saying there's lots of, lots of wind out there. <laughs> All good. Where was I? July. Um, <laughs> what the guys are saying to you, you will feel a lot of fulfillment this 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 month. You will really have joy. But this is also the months where you stop a little and reflect on where your shortcomings are and where your actions caused trauma, caused trouble, and basically say to the universe, I'm sorry and I hope the people can forgive me. I'm truly sorry for the things that I didn't do right. So this is not a, a month where um, you have a lot of fun Right, so they're showing me, um, you know, dancing, so <coughs> a lot of good old fashioned fun, <coughs> and at the same time, they're asking you to sort of um, sound wrong, sounds wrong, ask for forgiveness for your wrongdoings, but by just acknowledging them and asking the universe to send them to situations and people, um, or maybe to yourself, maybe you weren't good to yourself, right? Um, yeah. I think that's all I got for July. I'm just waiting, but there's nothing, nothing, nothing else <laughs> coming in, right? So that was your July going into August. We're looking at the star sign of Capricorn. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> in August, all they're saying is, after your, after your year so far, and after you saying, okay, I have to stop here a little, even though I have a lot of fun in July, I also um, want to acknowledge my mistakes. They're asking you in August to do nothing. Just relax, lie back, relax, take a breather from everything. The, the world will still be there tomorrow if you don't do a thing. And all they're saying to you in August, relax, just lie back, rest and relax. And that's all you need to do. There's nothing you need to do in August other than be, if that makes sense. Going into September, we're looking at the star sign of Capricorn, 2021 rundown, so to speak. Yeah. In September, we are in September now, aren't we? Yeah, it's just my brain doesn't work. In September, because you did nothing in August, you had time to rest a little, which is the plan, rest. In September, you will really be rewarded in the sense that a lot of stuff that you manifested earlier this year, a lot of things that were difficult in 2021 are now really changing. September, energetically speaking, is the highest energy month so far and thus far. And what the guides are saying to you, you are really showered with blessings in September um, and appreciate them and also don't send them away you know so if you are a person that can't take compliments right um, then sometimes you know the guides can't even show you what's out there for you because you say, I don't deserve this and I think so just again look at your self-esteem really important uh, again in September but September is going to be a great month because a lot of your struggles earlier struggles um, will just be poof, gone Right? Kind of thing. Okay. Going into uh, October, we're looking at the star sign of Capricorn. And here we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. In October, I have conflicting energy, if that makes sense, which means you will very likely in October <coughs> feel a bit conflicted. Because in September, you, you were given loads of new opportunities and you should take them, right? So in October, what they're saying is get ready for new horizons. Do take the opportunities that have been presented to you and go for it. But when you go into a new life, don't rush anything go slow otherwise you're going to be fogged in stay away from the fog <laughs> you know you, what that what that really means is that um you need to take your time simply because 
that will ease you in rather than rush through things. And that's your energy for, for October. You get ready for uh, a lot of exciting things, but you need to take your time exploring them. Okay? So, Capricorns, we're looking at your November 2021. Okay. <laughs> November is a month, remember we, we just talked about you taking your time. And in November, just flips. So while they are asking you in October to take your time, in, in November, they're asking you to stop throttling back and pressure on, because what is, what is needed is some sort of diligence and, and courage. So what they're saying is, you know, be a bit bold, not a bit, be bold, be, be, be very bold. <coughs> In, in November, uh, but the universe will support it. So November is going to be a great month, actually, um, where you can also really manifest and actually ask for, for, for more, right? So ask for more, dream big, and you may get more. If that makes sense, right? Looking at your last month, your final month for the year of 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Capricorn. Um, and remember, uh, the, the, the weekly videos that I do are still on. This is sort of a once-off where I just thought, you know, I do the whole year. I will certainly not do this every year. <coughs> um, so there is more, more um, guidance also in the weekly videos, if that makes sense, uh, that deal with a, with a week specifically. So as you go through your months in 2021, you might as well have a look at the weekly videos um, and see if things can be tweaked a little, if that makes sense, right? I mean, that's why I'm doing this, is to work with the guides for you and, and get messages to whoever uh, is ready to receive them, if that makes sense. So that's all good. And in, and, and in December, they're asking you to, again, it's a year for Capricorn to just pressure on and uh, go for stuff. And in December, they're asking you to, in a way, expand your horizons, allow yourself to deal with things you haven't dealt before, with before, and maybe really start maybe learning something new entirely. Trust that someone, let's just say someone comes to you, you know, you, you have a new job, you have a new life, and then, um, you know, you someone says, you know, we could need you there, but you would need to have a lot of training which we will provide, or maybe you have to pay for. And the point the guides are making is if something very new comes to you in December 2021, go for it. Really, really important. You're not stupid and you're not too old or whatever you think you are. Sometimes, you know, you have the tendency, Capricorns, to self-defeat. Oh, I'm this, I'm this, I can't do this. Remember, they said it numerous times, do not procrastinate. If the guides ask you to trust, to do something completely out of the ordinary in December, it is for a reason, right? So Capricorns, thank you so much for, for, for watching. Please share this widely. There must be other Capricorns out there <laughs> who the guides can reach this way. Thank you so much and um, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.